New tonight, a dramatic turn in the trial of a former Virginia Tech student accused of having an assault rifle on campus. Late this afternoon, the judge dismissed the gun charge against Young Song Zhao, but his future here in the United States is still uncertain. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez was in the Montgomery County courtroom today and is live with the details. Tommy. Yeah, Zhao showed how happy he was today. He put his hands up in the air, smiled and said, finally, when the judge said that he was dismissing this charge and finding him not guilty. So Zhao, now 20 years old, will go back into ICE custody tonight. Uh, the video cameras were not allowed in the courtroom today. The video we're showing here is from a previous court proceeding. This case today focused on the size of magazines in an AR-15 rifle. Jal bought the gun legally. Because he's not a U.S. citizen, he can only use up to a 20-round magazine. Police accused him of having a larger magazine, holding 30 rounds, and firing with it at a shooting range. The judge said that there was reasonable doubt about the testimony from three of the prosecution's witnesses, which included a Blacksburg Police Department detective who said he saw Jal use the larger magazine. The group that has supported Jal is thrilled with today's result. Finally, there is justice for Yoon Song Zhao. Um, we have watched as Yoon Song has been mistreated, uh, as a case was built against him that was clearly a fallacy, while his liberty was taken away, while he spent six months plus in prison. He deserves this. It's what's right. It was the truth. I can't be happier for him. That's Jow's attorney. She says he has an immigration hearing Thursday in Arlington, and he wants to stay in America and pursue a law degree to help others. Tonight at 6, we'll show you what it looked like when people came out here and protested. They were supporting Jow. They were protesting against the charges he was facing at the time. Live in Christiansburg, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.